Hey guys, it's winter break, so that means that Gio and I are in separate places doing different videos this week. My first video without Gio. Really sad about that. So for my video, I thought I would do a knitting tutorial. And if you've watched our last videos, you know I am a avid purveyor of the yarn arts. I'm an avid purveyor of the yarn arts. Mm -hmm. So I have knitting, crochet, mm -hmm. the whole thing. I crocheted. Oh yes. I did that. Mm -hmm. Knitting pile. I'm currently working on a blanket. We'll see how that goes. Stay tuned. So I thought it would be a nice little helpful video for you guys because I've heard that winter is cold some places. I don't know. It's not cold where I am in Los Angeles. It's never cold here. Yeah, you can see from my window that it's really gorgeous out right now. If this helps you guys stay warm, I'm glad. So to start, you start with your needles and your yarn. And first things first, get rid of those needles. You don't need them. You use the end of your yarn here and you make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, you make like a kind of loop and then you pull the string through the loop like so. And I'm sure that there are other YouTube videos dedicated to just making a slip knot, but this one is from yours truly. And you take one needle, just put it through, and then you take the long end and make kind of a check mark with your fingers. And you kind of wrap around, holding it there, and then just pull through. And this is called casting on. So you've got your check mark. Holding it like that. Pull through. We're going to do that a few times. However many stitches that you cast on, that'll be how wide your project is going to be. So I think that this is a good width. Got that there. Bam! Okay. Now, you take your other needle, and you're just going to slip it in, like so. You take your yarn, and then you wrap it around, and then you pull it all the way off. Let's continue down the line, like so. So now that you have your first row, you're just going to take it, just going to flip it around, and you guessed it. Repeat. So this process, you just repeat over and over and over and over and over and over again until you have your desired outcome. Pretty great. So now that you've gotten this far on your little scarf, swatch, whatever you want to call it, we are going to cast off. Casting off is super simple. All you have to do is do one, then knit two, and just take this and pull it over. Exactly. By the way, I think I should mention that this is called a garter stitch. I'm pretty sure. I think that's what this stitch is called. Garter stitch. Like what people used to wear, I suppose. Now that you are on your last stitch, congratulations. You take your scissors, and then you leave like a substantial tail. Clip. And you take your tail here, and you just pull it through, all the way, shabam! So there you see, with just a little bit of determination, you can make your very own knitted object. Just remember, don't like and don't subscribe. Thank you.